Hello, my friends. This is Dwight from Forest Glory 700 coming back at you with a quick video. They're not asleep. You can't wake up people that are already awake. <laughs> That's just a fact. You, you cannot wake up people who are awake. Now, I understand that when people say, if we could just get enough people to wake up, they're speaking metaphorically. They're not speaking of them actually asleep. But they're speaking in a way that these people are in a position to cognitively come to themselves, to recognize what they're experiencing is not reality but fantasy. The reality is they are very much awake. They're very much cognitively aware. The problem is they're under a spell. They're under a spell. A very real spell, just like you would see in uh, you know, cartoons or movies from Disney where there's a witch or a demonic being and they cast a spell upon an individual or a community or a town. We're under a spell. And everyone that's going along with this whole charade are under a demonic spell. So much so that it's prophesied in the Word of God in the book of Revelation chapter 18 verse 23 talks about the merchants of the earth who use sorceries and through sorceries the entire world were deceived into accepting and receiving the mark of the beast we're in it right now there's no doubt about it we're absolutely in it right now but the idea that if you can just bring enough information to the masses or to the public that they'll somehow break free of the spell is an illusion they can't break free of the spell because the spell has been deeply ingrained into their psyche. So no, mo no amount of uh, evidence or information or facts that you and I could possibly present to them will actually wake them up metaphorically from this because they're under a spell. They're very much awake. It's just the spell is so, it's so encapsulated them that they are unable to break free even if they wanted to themselves, they can't. This is a spiritual t attack that the entire world is under. And you have two camps. You have the kingdom of God and you have the kingdom of men. And we're currently under the administration and the rule of the kingdom of men. And so most people in this world, they believe in the system of men. They believe in the kingdom of men. They want this system to succeed. After all, this system has given to us in many ways our perception of our current reality as how this world actually functions, or at least that is what we have been told. From space travel to the Big Bang to everything that we have been told about our physical world, we have received by those that are holding the keys and that are presenting to us a reality that is not actually reality. Now, I'm probably sounding incredibly crazy to a whole lot of you, maybe all of you. I understand what I'm saying. I'm probably not articulating it in the way that I would like to, but this entire world system is one hell of an illusion. It's not real. It's presented to us as real, but it's not real. And what we're experiencing right now with this health emergency is anything but reality. And so the people in this world, because we've all been born into the system, want to believe, they need to believe that what we are being told is true. Because to be told otherwise would completely destroy our worldview of everything we ever knew. Everything would be thrown up into the air. And so people that are under this spell, and it's most people in this world, not all, but most people in this world need to believe that what they're being told is true. Because... To be informed or to see it other than what it actually is would completely destroy their paradigm. It really would. It would turn their world upside down. And so people need to believe that what they're being told by those that are in authority is actually true. Despite the evidence and the fact everywhere that it's not true. It's a, it's a complete zoo out there. It's, it's complete insanity. It's like we're in an episode of... Uh, the Twilight Zone or we're in the movie The Invasion of the Body Snatchers where people that you know and love are just blindly and again they're not blind they're just deluded by the potion of the system 
And if they're willing to go as far as they need to go to see this system succeed, that's pulling the wool over their eyes. It's <laughs> it's completely insane. It really is. Um, they're not asleep. They're under a spell. And as long as they're under that spell, they'll never break free of the illusion that surrounds all of us. And the only way to break through of it, really, is to recognize that the world system that we, you and I have been born into is an illusion. It is a matrix of lies and deceit and deception. And it is a spiritual battle through and through, like I said earlier. And the only way to break through, break through or break free of this is to recognize that the world as we know it isn't what it is. There's something in the back of your mind, if it's not there, that's letting you know that this is not real. And it's not. And it's just tragic to see people day after day, when you go out into the community, attempting to live your life as an, a normal human being, and everyone are completely given over to that system, to the point that when you, as a, a rational thinking person, attempt to live your life, as a rational thinking person, you're being ostracized by everyone else around you who have been programmed to believe that we have to follow all uh, the lockdowns and the restrictions that have been presented to us because it's for our own good. It's for the greater good. Uh, it's a crazy world that we live in. It's, it's going to continue to progress. Um, I hate to be a, a downer, but it's going to continue to progress in the direction that it is going in right now. And that's quite literally the destruction of man and what it means to be human. 